Force and work. In this chapter, you will learn about force, gravitational force, muscular force, elastic force, magnetic force, mechanical force, machines, and simple machines. Now, I am going to teach you about force and work. Work force? Forcing us to work? Maybe I'm wrong. No, that's not it. Listen to this class. Cars, buses, airplanes and boats are some examples of moving objects. Even the earth, the sun and stars are moving all the time. An object that is moving is said to be in motion. A push or a pull acting on objects is called a force. Actions such as opening doors, picking up a school bag or turning on a tap all require force. Here, what are the children doing? One is pulling a toy and the other is pushing the stool. Both the toy and the stool move from their position because of the push or pull. We say that work has been done when a stationary object changes direction or comes to a stop. When something falls or breaks. What caused the work to be done is force. For example, a bird pushing itself into the air when flying up. All these are examples of force, either being a push or a pull. So force can be defined as a push or a pull that changes the position or shape or size of the object on which it acts. Types of force There are different types of force in nature. Gravitational force Earth has an invisible force called gravity that pulls everything down towards it. When a mango breaks off from a tree, it falls downwards to the ground. This is due to the gravitational force of the earth. Muscular force The most common force used by all animals, including man, is muscular force, the force produced by the muscles. When we lift or carry things, push or pull a table, walk or jump, we use muscular force. Elastic force Flexible materials like elastic or rubber produce a force. You must have seen how a catapult throws up a stone or how a bow and arrow are used. In the first case, the stretched string of the bow comes back to place after releasing the arrow.